This is now where the trial's going to move. And in front of a crowd of thousands, you're going to have this moment where Clarence Darrow, the great agnostic, is going to have William Jennings Bryan on the stand to testify about the Bible. Scenes from this moment. And there was a big sign on the side of the Ray County Courthouse that said, read your Bible. And, and Darrow said, I, either take that down or put up a second one that says, read your Darwin. Europe is amazed by the Scopes case. But in this grilling, Darrow, headlines from around the country, William Jennings Bryan, as he's sitting down, says, I'm simply trying to protect the word of God against the greatest, greatest atheist or agnostic in the United States. I want the papers to know I'm not afraid to get on the stand with him and let him do his worst. I want the world to know, to wild applause. And Darrow then grills him on what an absolute literal interpretation of the Bible would mean. He says, do you really believe that until the Tower of Babel, every human being spoke the same language? Do you believe that Jonah could have been swallowed by a big fish and lived for three days in the fish's stomach? Did Joshua make the sun stand still? This is, you know, when the Bible was written, it was believed that the sun rotated around the earth. Does the sun revolve around the earth? Do you really believe that a great flood 2,348 years ago destroyed all living things except those on the ark? And Brian's response is essentially yes. And that yes, there's the laws of science, but God created the laws of science and he can change them when he wants to. So miracles are moments where God Change the laws of science. Get over it. And there's these famous exchanges. And this is one where they're debating Bishop Usher's estimate that the Earth began in 4004 BC. Brian says, well, I don't know if that's accurate, although he, in his defense, isn't too far different from Bishop Usher. But then as they're discussing how Usher reached his calculations, there's this exchange. Darrow. But what do you think that the Bible says? Don't you know how it was arrived at? Brian, I never made a calculation. Darrow, a calculation from what? Brian, I could not say. Darrow, from the generations of man? That's where how Usher made his calculations. Brian, I would not want to say that. Darrow, what do you think? Brian, I do not think about things I don't think about. Darrow, do you think about things you do think about? Brian, well, sometimes. And in this grilling, depending on who's listening and who's reading the accounts, have very different takeaways. In kind of the urban H.L. Mencken world, Darrow made Brian look like a buffoon. But to people who loved William Jennings Bryan and liked the anti-evolution law, Brian firmly defended the faith.